really just finding out what people think about Easter, this time of year, what's going through people's minds, do people bother with Easter, it's just a long day weekend. So I'm going to ask you standard questions and then kind of build up as we go, yeah? Um, so, what's your name? I'm Joe. Okay, nice to meet you. And how are you doing today? I'm good, thank you. Good. What yeah. were you doing in Watford shopping? Or? Oh, I just met my mate because we were bored, so we just thought we'd come, in, come into Watford. So. Do you work? Is this a day off for you or are you just a day off? Um, I'm, I'm in sixth form. But, oh, right, okay. Yeah, so um, we're all for Easter now. So what are your plans for the long holiday weekend? Or, yeah, the long weekend. Um, I'll probably see if I can go, go, to party, go to any parties I can go see my mates, just do whatever, do revision if I need to. Okay. And would you say you celebrate Easter? Do you commemorate Easter as a as an occasion? Um, I kind of feel like I should, but I don't. I'm, like, I'm, I'm supposed to be a Catholic, but I'm, I'm, I'm an atheist, so I don't really go in for like, looking at um, Easter and what it's about. It doesn't really interest me that much. Why would you say you feel like you should then? Because I was brought up as a Catholic, but okay. I, I've never really felt a whole lot of connection with the whole Catholic ethos and with any, anything to do with Catholicism. Okay, interesting. So you know about kind of the teachings about Jesus, resurrecting and stuff like that? Uh, well, yeah. Part, part, Based partially. on your upgrades? Yeah. Okay, so would you say you believe that there was no good Jesus? There was, well historically there's a lot of evidence that there was someone called Jesus, but whether he was the son of God is a totally different question. That's exactly, we've had so many people say the same thing. Um, okay, do you believe he died? Do you believe he was crucified in a way that is described in the Bible and by kind of religious teaching? By, yeah, by Pontius, yeah, probably. He was probably just some guy who was like, oh, I'm the son of God, so everyone got really pissed off. And quote, and crucified him. Do you believe yeah. he resurrected? Because that's what, that's what, those who argue that he was the son of God argue that he was because he resurrected. So do you believe he resurrected? Well, that would that, that would defy like all logic and any like every everything we've ever had in terms of knowledge and science. So no. You don't believe he did. I can't. I can't. You can't, can't believe it. Can't. What would it take to believe a story like that? Do you think if someone was to try and persuade you, what would they need to produce? They need to produce evidence that God wasn't just made up to keep all the poor people poor because, in my opinion, God was only made up to make people... Um, so it was made by the rich people to make it so uh, all the poor people would remain poor because they think, oh, it's okay that I'm poor because all the rich people are rich, but um, that, that's fine because that they're wrong because look, we're working hard, but we're going to get to go to heaven whilst the rich people won't. And that was why it was made up to keep the status quo and working class to working class and the rich to rich. Okay. So. Interesting, interesting. At uni I studied slavery, so I know very much that yeah. that was kind of foundation for taking people away from their homes and oppressing them yeah. for ages. That It was used as a concept, God was used as a concept to oppress people. But in terms of the story of Jesus and the whole idea that he resurrected, what would it take to believe that there was a man that resurrected? What do you think people would want to give you? Because you say we should prove that then, or people would need to prove that God was just a made-up concept and that he's real. Yeah. Wouldn't, if someone could prove that Jesus resurrected, wouldn't that prove that God was real? If they could prove that Jesus resurrected, <laughs> I guess it would prove that God was real, but to prove it, you could How would you not? Why would you Because if someone dies and is put in their tomb, and then is no longer in their tomb, Mark, and people say, I saw him alive after us. It, it was so long ago, unless there was thousands of historical, like, people saying, like, signatures saying, I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw. Like, thousands of people who weren't just into, like, like his disciples. That that would be what it would take. And there wasn't obviously cameras back then. So okay. It's really difficult. So you'd need lots of kind of eyewitness accounts. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But, yeah. And there are some in the Bible. Oh. Not all of from disciples. I didn't, I, I didn't know that. Engage much of the Bible. Bible. To be fair, it's just, this is what I'm just challenging kind of people's thoughts and views because I ask myself, I'm a Christian yeah. and I believe in God and I believe that Jesus Christ resurrected from the dead and he was the son of God. But there are times in life where you question, actually, how do I know that that's real? Someone told me that when I was five. Yeah. How do I know that that's real? And you have to think, they weren't cameras 2,000 years ago. All we have is what people wrote down. So I challenge you to go and figure out, go and read what people wrote down. That's all we have. What people who followed him and then didn't follow him, people did, that were just normal, people that were against him even, would write down and say, actually, hold on, we crucified that dude. Why is yeah. he still walking around? I mean, I, I do find philosophy, like the whole, I do find like philosophy, like, interesting. like I'm doing philosophy and ethics uh, at A level. So I, I do find 
it interesting, but I, I, I just I've never seen myself believing. I mean, you believe, I believe half, well, what's the quote? You believe half of what you see. Yeah, that quote. Yeah, okay. You know that, that quote. That quote, that quote. The one that we don't both know fully, but we yeah, both know. That one. Yeah. Anyway, thank you very much, Joe, Joe, yeah. for sharing your thoughts. Thank you. Have